welcome back to this DC Universe Online Let's Play. You're Sambo, and joining us, who hasn't for quite some time, is Electra, our level 7 lightning based super powered superhero with her red and yellow suit. Hello, Electra, good lord. You know, we've been running a few episodes of Jordan recently because I had a bit of a backlog to wade through. I wanted to get up to date, and we're through that now, and that means it's time for some more Electra. So it's good to see her here, and of course, it's good to see see the view of DC Universe online from up on high it's a beautiful gorgeous view of Metropolis of course which is where we are for this particular episode in fact if we have a look in our journal let's see what we've got it's been a while since we've been in here you can see we want to knock out an exploration quest here courtesy of good old booster gold a get a booster and you can see that's level four and because we're level seven we definitely want to do that give ourselves a bit of XP and I think that's pretty much nearby and then we're probably going to go and do this one here, the Pest Control. Uh, and that's all about beating back the Hive, attacking LexCorp Exabyte Transports near Outlook Park. And you can see we get ourselves a nice Saboteur's Tool Belt out of that. So yep, definitely looking forward to getting in and beating up some bad guys on Electra here. Well, that's not really beating up the bad guys. I guess it's technically beating up the good guys because, of course, we are a villain. All right, now, before we go any further, I'd like to give a couple of shout-outs here. Always love saying g'day to you guys all of my fans and viewers out there who support this channel it's the very least I can do we've got our first one here from Agu with and they say hey Sambo you're so cool I just got a new sub and I've watched all your DCUO vids PS can I please get a shout out well Agu with you most certainly can thank you very much for your support mate and another one here from Apprentice 09M and they say hey Sambo can I please have a shout out next episode I'm a huge fan of the best YouTube comment who is Sambo NZ? Oh gosh, shucks, you're gonna make me blush, mate. Thank you very much. You definitely get a shout out from me, Apprentice09M. Thank you very much. And another one here from BiosFear14, and they say, Hey, I thought you would miss out on the green item there. And of course, this is a comment. Excuse me, a comment off one of the videos they were watching. Instead, you went and picked it up while you were in combat. Now, of course, that is exactly what I do. I'll be in the middle of something and go, Oh, shiny! And whatever I'm doing, no matter if I'm being attacked or not, we must have the shiny. So, yes, sorry, that's just me. Anyhow, is it too late for a shout-out? Take it easy, mate. You know what? Bios Fear 14, it is never too late for a shout-out. So, thank you very much for your support as well. And finally here, one from Ming Zero and they say hey I enjoy this once again Sambo NZ how about a shout out on your next adventure and I'm still trying to get into the super zeros and the super villain has helped me out a lot being a part of the group well first things first yes that's right any of our leagues the super zeros or the super villains are absolutely amazing they're full of amazing people who are just a ton of valuable information and of course good times and fun you know what whether you're in the super zeros or the super villains it doesn't really matter these days they're both getting to be about the same size it's amazing like they're so huge as you will no doubt see from our escapades at the watchtower and of course we also have the super zeros and super villains community website which is also jam-packed of guides and useful information for everybody i highly urge you go along and join up and then join one of our leagues couldn't find a better bunch of guys as i'm sure you know so once again thank you very much everyone for your support greatly appreciated if you'd like a shout out just just say so in the comments. You don't have to give me your firstborn child or your left arm or anything. More than happy to say good day and to say thank you for the support that you give me, both in the past and, of course, right now and into the future, I am sure. All right, now, what on earth is that music, you might be asking? Look at that. Something has appeared next to us, and that would be this. Can you believe... Can you believe it's been a year? It's been a year since the if leprechauns have come dance. out to play and of course that's because it's St. Patrick's Day as I film this. We've got this special event here. You can see of course some heroes hey, there. That's why the they're in purple. ATM that's why their names are purple anyway. And they're doing the leprechaun quest. So we won't do them on Electra. What we're looking for is instead to go off and find the boardwalk entrance. And you can see there if I follow the yellow pip on my map we're probably going to find it. 
and that's for the good old booster gold exploration quest so here you go that should look familiar to you guys you got the park out the back there which of course has the ferris wheel and all the rest of it in there and i'm sure that that's what we're going to have to visit very very shortly now it's very annoying i know at level seven you don't have your super speed so everywhere you go it seems really really slow which is a real shame anyway all right here we go here is the entrance kiosk. Let's use in this. Past years, See what the he's got to say. Of the Queensland boardwalk were intoxicating. The aroma of cotton candy and hot dogs drifted through the air as people relaxed and enjoyed the many attractions. But that was before Gorilla Grodd's forces invaded. And let me, Booster Gold, be the one to tell you, a barrel full of monkeys really isn't all that fun. Thank you very much, Booster Gold. You are a mine of information as always. All right, you can see we've got to visit the merry-go-round now. And of course, you can hear in the background all of the Gorilla Grodd stuff going on. Now, this is interesting because, of course, if we were a hero, a superhero, these gorillas would be aggro on us. And you can see if we get close to them, they've actually got green names, which is not what we're used to. And that is because, of course, we are a villain. So they're on our side. They're basically on the same side as us, and that's why they're friendly. We're so used to our other characters coming in here and having to do quests to take these guys down. Not this time. This time they are our mates. Do you know what I can see this time? You got it. Speaking of shinies, look at that right there. And I land myself right in it as well, so we can't pick it up. What an idiot. There we go. Why will that not let us take it? Come on. No, I will not serve you, Crod. Oh, that's horrible. Maybe we have to get rid of this first. I don't know. Come on, let us at it. Don't deny me a collectible, please. I have no idea why that is. That is bizarre. That's the most horrible thing ever. And why do I keep landing right in the middle of it? It's like everything's against me. All right, stuff you. We don't care. For once in my life, I'm going to leave a collectible alone. You know what? It feels so wrong. I feel dirty. All right, here we go. The, the merry-go-round kiosk. The merry-go-round traces its roots back to a cavalry training mechanism from the 12th century, but didn't become a form of recreation until sometime around the 17th century. These dates are a bit vague. Maybe I, Booster Gold, should ask Rip Hunter to go back in time and get the full story. Rip Hunter. Hands up if you know who Rip Hunter is. I'm sure you do. All right, now we've got to visit the Ferris wheel. And that's just over here. And of course, we've got these Brainiac platforms here. Oh no, are these? I think these are Grod platforms actually. But again, these guys don't actually register for us because we are effectively friendly to them, being the villainous villain that we are. All right, so we're looking for the Ferris wheel kiosk. I think I flew right past it. It's because I've got my eyes on the scenery. Always looking at the scenery. Terrible, terrible. Ready for some more history? I knew you were. The Ferris wheel was preceded by the Pleasure wheel, dating back to the 17th century. Pleasure wheel passengers rode in chairs that were suspended in a large wooden ring, which was then rotated by a strongman. Sounds like a job for Superman. I wonder if that's true. That's hilarious, isn't it? God, imagine that. What do you do for a job? Uh, yeah, I power a Ferris wheel, basically. Right. Anyway, go on, look that up for me. We've, I think we've actually looked up a couple of facts for the Ferris wheel in the past, but I'm not sure that we've actually checked out that particular one there. So that'll be very interesting, to be honest. See if the original ones were, in fact, powered by a strong man and not a motor or a horse and carriage or a giant hamster on a wheel or something like that. All right, so we're flying past the good old superheroes base here, the third precinct, because we need to get ourselves to the little Bohemian nightclub here and see that to continue and hand in our mission. And that will be the booster gold mission, I'm imagining. Now, let's have a look on the map and see how far. Oh, it's miles away. OK, let's just check and see where this pest control one is. There we go. We'll activate that one. There it is. This is Lex Luthor. Since you performed the last task so admirably, I think you're the one to handle this developing situation. Hive drones are attacking crucial exobite transports near the Metropolis Metrodome. Go crush some insects and retrieve my exobites. I've worked too hard to let Queen Bee's mindless bugs ruin it now. Thank you very much for that, Lex Luthor. Let's have a look on the map. Yep, okay, so you can see it's actually on the way to the Little Bohemian nightclub, so that'll make the episode nice and tight. We'll go to this, and then we'll head probably back to the Bohemian nightclub to hand in once we're done. Gosh, look at all the pots of gold around at the end of the rainbow. And once again, this is for the St. Patrick's Day 
festival, the event that's going on now, right now in DC Universe Online. So if you do play, then I urge you to log in if you're wanting to get all the extra goodies from that event. Again, won't be covering it off in this episode because we have done so in one of our previous episodes way back when. I think it was on one of our superheroes, actually. All right, so here we go. We're coming up on the Hive infestation, the West River Key. That is us, and hopefully down here we will have some Hive forces. In fact, I think I can see them right over there. There we go. Protect the Lex Core forces. Zero we out of five. Exobites back intact, so let's squash some bugs. And you can see we've got to take out Hive workers stealing the Exobites. And we've got to do 20 of those. Now you can see these guys have got a counter above their head that's ticking down just like most things in DCU. It works the same way. Basically there'll be an inbound influx of mobs that come through and we have to protect these guys while that countdown is going. Now you can see these guys are level 8 by the way and that's why we took a bit of a beat in there but remember we do have ourselves a self heal which is very handy. Let's do the charge, double throw, love that move. All right, so we've protected one, that's good. Let's see if we can grab another guy down here, although it looks like they're a little bit busy. And of course our number one ability shoots a bolt of lightning pretty much. Our number three one is like an AOE. Now let's see if this counts. Not sure if it will because we didn't trigger it off. And look at that, it did count. It's handy, good to know. Doesn't matter if you join in on a party that's already going, basically. You're still going to get the count, especially the count for your quest. Very handy indeed. Now let's just ignore that stinger for a second and see if we can get ourselves this shiny. Oh, it's actually going to let us collect this one. How nice of it. Transmission. Primary training mandate. Swarm them. There we go. Now we do want those guys because, of course, we need to take out... Oh, actually, not those guys. It's the workers that are stealing the exabytes. So I'd say it's these ones here that we need the 20 of. Zappity zap. And yeah, look at that. One out of 20 is down. Let's make sure we're locked on. Two out of 20. And there's another worker over there as well. There we go, that nice AoE there, of course. Look at it, it's still going. All those sparkles of energy on all of those mobs. In fact, we'll do it again. Keeping an eye on our health the whole time. And look at that, we're already, well, we're at seven, this will be eight. Zappity, zappity, zap. Fantastic stuff, love it, love it, love it. Loving these powers. Now, I like that idea that we did before. Let's gather up a whole bunch. Uh, once we've got this guy, gather up a whole bunch and then use that AOE electricity. There we go. Will it reach that guy over there? No, not quite. Didn't quite pick him up, but we will use our zappity zap. Look at that. Nearly took him out in one shot there. Absolutely amazing. Come on, all you guys. Come and get me. All right. Use number three ability there. Zap them all. Use our number one ability. Use three again, hopefully to pick up these guys. Give ourselves our self-heal just to keep topped up. And there we go, look at that. We're already 15 out of 20. Oh, I love these electricity powers. Look at them, it's just like, it's like an AOE dot that goes on them. I mean, there's just no way out of there. Okay, here we go. This guy's already been triggered, but hopefully if we take out some of these guys, and the enemy I'm talking about, of course, then we'll get countered for this particular quest. We're already at two out of five for the protection of the Lex Core forces. We get this guy before he dies. There we go, that counted three out of five. And we need three more workers as well. Death to those that 
That looks like three to me. Let's see if we can take all these guys out. Self heal, and look at that, all done. Whoops, and I'm going to aggro these guys, no problem. Uh, that's all XP. Of course, at our low level of level 7.5, we can definitely do with all the XP we can get. Another heal. Aren't these lightning powers amazing? Like the actual effects of them, I so love. You really feel like you're making a song and dance, if you know what I mean. Nice and over the top, which is exactly what you want for a superhero and supervillain game. Just waiting for that timer to climb up, and that will be four out of five once we're done. Ugh, I hate insects, especially when they're the enslaved minions of a crazy alien bug lady. Queen Bee uses Hypnopollen to link all those guys directly to her mind. So, like I always say, don't inhale. Thank you very much, Calculator. And how's that? That actually counted for two of them. Very happy about that as we also discover a new quest to pick up here. So let's have a look at our journal now that that's finished. And there we go, all done. Getting ourselves the saboteur's tool belt. Let's complete that quest. The hive is stockpiling my exobites at their makeshift base inside the Metrodome. If that overbearing insect Queen Bee thinks she can steal from Lex Luthor, she is sadly mistaken take out their hypno-pollen dispensers and mark my exobite canisters for retrieval. Alright, so we've done that particular quest tons and tons of times before. That's out the front of the building where we have to mark those pods and of course the basically those big mech soldiers come in and take them away and we've got the turrets laying about as well. We've done it many times. Sure we could do it with our eyes closed. Let's have a look at that piece of equipment we got though because I do want to compare it to what we've got. Now you can see for a start it's a style that's not collected but also there's a lot of good stats there. Less power but more defense and more health. So I think what we might do is actually equip that. Let's have a look at these other ones we've got here just in case. Most of them can't be used because they're too high a level for us at this early stage in the game. All right, let's have a chat to Agent See Justice. you can grab some of those high blasting scepters the stingers carry. They're loaded with neurotoxin. Could be a valuable resource for our defense contract work. Damn. Don't you hate when that happens? Pretty sure these guys are stingers. Yeah. 15 stingers. If only we'd got this quest before we actually started attacking them before. Never mind. Alright, there's one out of 15. You know what? It's fun. There's nothing wrong with the combat in DCUO. In fact, as far as MMOs goes, it's a one of the most exciting combat styles that I've ever come across in an MMO. So I absolutely have no problem doing this. The only problem I do have is that it looks like these are on a random drop. Unless it was drones that I beat up before there. Not sure. We'll soon find out once we kill this stinger. Oh, okay. No, that has gone up. Okay, so we must have just been attacking the wrong type of mob. Good stuff. Look at that. Three out of 15. And sadly, that was a drone, not a stinger. So we just want the stingers. There we go. Lock onto that one. And yes, I know it's a drone, but he got in the way. Now we're getting ourselves very beaten up here, so time for a cola. There we go. And look at that view. Seriously, folks, it's been a while since we've been here in Metropolis, and I just absolutely adore the visuals of this game. 
have made the cities that perfect blend between kind of semi-realistic and you know still trying to keep in line with the comic book feel of the entire game it's just fantastic isn't it all right there we go six out of 15 we're looking for more stingers and they seem to be just a little bit in short supply right now drones ah there we go Oh, look at that, we took a nasty hit there. Definitely need to use our self-heal a couple of times. Just to bring up our health. And we got drones. Alright, so again, looking for the stingers. We're halfway there, we've got 7 out of 15. There's one, let's lock on. A little bit of lag there, not sure what's going on. Maybe it was a bit of server lag bit of ping getting in the way there all right so we're eight out of 15 let's see if we can find some more of these stingers come on stinger we want you because i want to finish off this quest no no stingers ah there we go And as you can see, these guys do kind of hit a little bit hard. Do have to be very careful. Well, wow, we've really got ourselves some friends now. Right, I'm going to get the heck out of Dodge. Because you can see there it's taking a long time for our health to recover. And if we take one big hit, we'll probably buy the farm. Alright, so you can see we're 11 out of 15 of those. We're getting very, very close to finishing off here. As we look out over the west side, is it? No, we're either east side. Let's have a look actually. East, southeast side of Metropolis there. And we're gathering our stingers. Got a couple more to go. So we can find some. Got a drone there. Oh, there's one. You can actually tell them by the colour of their suit, actually, which is very handy. Here we go, 12 out of 15. Just three to go. Oh, I think that'll be one over there. Yes, it is. All right, getting good at this now. I can tell them from a distance. There we go. Two more to go. Is that one? No, that looks like a worker, I think. Yep, worker. Yeah, that's right. Getting good at the visuals. There we go. There's a stinger. All done. Bar for one. Let's look for that last stinger. Where are you? Amongst the workers. There he is. And you can see he grounded us there as well. Well, we got two stingers maybe? No, that one is a worker drone, I think. Time to do the AOE dot. Oh, look at that. That is just awesome, those powers. Absolutely amazing. And there we are. Press J to access our journal. We are done. Let's have a look and see what it says. And we're done. We get ourselves some Corleum sheathed battle gloves now. Again, not sure if they're any good. No, wait a minute. We got this one. There we go. Wrong one there. The battle gloves are for the buzzkill quest there. So that is what is activated at the moment. And let's have a look and see if we can find out whereabouts on the map that is just to where is it just to the southwest of where we are but do you know what what we want to do in this case is activate our booster gold explorer quest because i do want to hand that in before we ding that's only level four and you can see we are literally millimeters away from dinging to level eight which is amazing considering that we started off this episode well under halfway through just all of that fighting and a couple of quest hand-ins there and you can see just how much xp you do get at the lower levels there taking us all the way almost 
to a level 8 already. Amazing stuff. All right, so we're going to head into the Bohemian Nightclub to continue our mission, which is effectively handing into our good old buddy, Booster Gold, who we haven't seen for a while. So, yeah, I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Booster is crazy loco, uh, but we do like Harley. Hey, Harley, how's it going? Here we are, Lexellence, Club Lexellence. Let's bump our way along the walls to our hand in with good old Booster Gold. We'll clear that away and then we'll finish off by repairing up and stocking up on soda if we need them and selling up our trash. The Queensland Boardwalk is an important part of Metropolis. It memorializes trouble-free days of our past when happiness was found in a walk along the beach with a corn dog in hand. Say, you know who makes a great corn dog? Big Belly Burger. Their corn dogs and burgers are belly belly good. <sighs> Booster Gold. You are nuts. All right, so let's have a look at this. Look at that. Congratulations. Electra is level eight. Well done. And you can see we also completed 25 missions there. Boy, things are going well for us now. Really loving it. And you can see we've got a whole bunch of new tasks that have come up as well automatically because we're level eight. You can see we've got a new instance available. We've got to speak to Brother Blood and we've got to meet with Catwoman at the North Burnley Nightclub a Safe House. Most importantly, of course, we've got ourselves a PowerPoint, which is great. And of course, we've been sp uh, spending up large in voltage so far. So we might as well carry that on. What's this one here? Imbues yours and up to three group members weapon attacks with the power of electricity to increase the chance of causing more damage. And you know what? This is a good one called Wired because it's got a power interaction on it as well because each hit on an enemy as it says there that has uh, has the chance to electrify that enemy making them vulnerable again to electrified power interactions so basically every time we melee we uh, got a chance to drop that debuff on them which also means that all of our normal electric powers will be even more powerful so absolutely yes we'd like to purchase wired there we go and hopefully that'll appear on our hotbar there it is Nice little effect there, look at that, on our wrists. Oh, now does that stay there? Okay, that's very interesting. So we got those balls of arcs of electricity. No, okay, they're not permanent, never mind. All right, we can see that Booster Gold has got another quest for us. Let's pick this up while we're here. Welcome to Exploration Adventures with Booster Gold. I'm Booster Gold. This adventure will take you to the fantastic Metropolis Metrodome, home of the Metropolis Meteors football team. Thank you very much there, Booster Gold. All right, let's have a look. Let's go over and repair up and sell up. And we'll make sure that we've got the right quest tracked for our next episode as well. Oh, gosh, there's someone wearing the same color scheme as I. All right, let's have a look in our journal. There we go. And what we want are one of these level six ones here. Bane's back. Explore Metropolis or free the demons. Perhaps what we will do is... Oh, I don't know. Gosh, you can see these are... All different storyline arcs. We've got the Bane storyline there. Uh, we've got the Booster Gold one for our exploration adventures, but we've also got Trigon. That starts the whole Trigon quest line. So that's very cool. I'm not sure which one we'll do. Oh, maybe we'll decide next week after all. All right, let's have a look at the shops and we I want to repair up. Here for your everyday needs. There we go. Repair. Thank you very much. Repair all of that. And let's see what we've got here that we can sell. Not that. Not the snowball. Well, actually, you know what? I don't care about the snowballs. Let's get rid of those. We've got the locket there. We'll definitely get rid of that. We've got the shielded shielded Prometheum belt. Don't need that. We've certainly got lots of soda, so we don't need any of, them, any of those to be purchased. Got knives there. We've got the boots. They're all high level, and basically they were given to us by, well, they're gifts from viewers, so thank you very much for that. There we go. Some vendor trash in the form of Hive Mind Matrix. And have we got that style yet? Yes, we have. So we can get rid of that belt as well. And then we've got the turret parts. The shielded Prometheum belt. Do we have that style? Yes, we do. So we can get rid of that as well, I think. Yep. 10 power is not worth hanging on to. Torn wing filament. And what do we got here? Ring of better days. 
Nah, we'll get rid of that as well. Don't want to lose our might. So that's it. We are all repaired up and sold up. And that's it for us for this episode, folks. Certainly hope you enjoyed our trip back to Electra. Of course, moving forward, we'll be alternating between Electra and Jordan, just like we used to in the old days. So we'll get a good, healthy dose of villains and superheroes uh, throughout this series, alongside our weekly league alerts. And of course, always looking forward to those. That's coming up soon on the weekend. In the meantime, folks, on behalf of of myself, Sambo, Electra, our bright yellow and red super powered level 8 now super villain. So I'm saying take care. Certainly hope you're having a great day wherever you are in the world. I do look forward to seeing you next time. We'll see you then and bye bye.